My name's Aaron, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. Today I am reviewing Elysium by Roja Parfums. This is £225 for 100 ml. The notes are lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, lime, lavender, thyme, artisma, musk, heart notes are lily of the valley, rose de may, jasmine de grasse, apple, blackcurrant. The base notes are galbamum, pink pepper, cyprol, vertiver, cedarwood, juniper, berries and benzoin, oh, what's going on, uh, vanilla, labdomen, leather, ambergris and musk. Elysium perfume cologne by British band Roja Perfumes captures the rare strength of character. Proposed and I'm not going to read the rest of it. Do we have our bottles of Elysium? Are we engaged with our higher self? Let's get testing. So this is the cologne, not the Eau de Parfum or any other variation. So first off, the box is super, super compliant, which makes me very happy as a chemist. This is very nice. Not much more I can say about that really, is it? This is much more youthful than his other fragrances, which tend to smell quite middle-aged. And I feel that this is this brand going after the blue market, the Ambroxan heavy market. But this still smells like his work. So what you are detecting straight off is one of the compounds which I like the least and which I don't use, and that's vertiver. Vertiver is green and woody. I don't think that the demographic is 20 to 30. It doesn't have that youthful energy to it, but it's more youthful than his other work. So this absolutely is built upon Hedione, Icy Super, and Broxin, and some top note musk, which smells fresh, clean. Methyl Pampamoose is giving grapefruit feel to this. I mean, I, I don't personally like vetiver, so I'm gonna try and detach myself from what I like and what I don't like. This is uh, overtly green. What that he's doing is a sweetening vetiver with orange and one of my favorite essential oils, which is bergamot. And bergamot I love, it's the sweetest and the most ethereal of all the citruses. And it can help to sweeten vetiver, which is a little bit unpalatable. Now, Artisma is a very interesting raw material. It is used in formulations to help flick and give elevation and a pop. And Artisma smells of, um, it's sort of a bit minty. It's like a sweet, minty sort of uh, essential oil. It's also called mugwort. And Artisma is quite interesting essential oil very difficult to get hold of. I've been working with it with uh, spearmint and peppermint and seeing how I like the feel of it. Yes, I don't particularly enjoy working with it. This is a very dry in green, fresh and lively and effervescent. This is a very well-crafted fragrance because you're taking incredibly green raw materials that are unpalatable and softening it with nitro musks and helping to sweeten it with bergamot. And what I do appreciate about the way he creates his work is he's using, I would say, about um, a third naturals to two thirds aroma chemicals to make really good quality perfume. And you can tell the difference with perfumes that do this because you get a fragrance that sort of changes on the skin and you also get a interesting feel. Now, Pink Pepper, I love working with. It's very expensive and it's apparent in this. And Pink Pepper, when combining with citruses, helps to dry it out and give it a sweet, woody feel. This is uh, interesting because on my skin, it's starting to change and become sweeter and cleaner. And of course, I'm detecting Almily and Almily, I've mentioned before, it smells of green, stingy nettles, and it really makes fragrances smell up to date, current, and aids in elevation. On to my final thoughts. It's settling down quite soft and that's the nitro musk. So you're getting a fluffy feel to this and you're absolutely getting the major raw materials, which is the lily of the valley raw materials to help to smooth and continue that sort of clean linen feel within this formulation. There is a similarity to Creed Aventus, but it's different enough 
in my mind to absolutely not be a dupe and that's absolutely fine because that's how perfume you should be if you're highly skilled you can take something that you love and you can transform it and make it your own and in this case i think it's fine to do that because it's similar which means that people who like creed aventus will enjoy this but it smells like his work and it smells uh, different so it's been changed which i appreciate which i think is absolutely fine the ice super is so apparent in this and that gives the woody velvety ambery texture so i'm gonna go through my marks with you and the first two marks are for whether the box is uh, safe legal compliant absolutely gets a two out of two the next two marks are whether i think it's um gonna last whether it's projecting or that sort of dry down and unfortunately on my skin it doesn't really last and i had about an hour out of it two hours out of it and then it sort of dried down to sort of quite flat and ended up being a nice skin scent and i spoke to chris about this and chris said that the cologne range was a way for people to uh, get into his work that perhaps don't want to spend the three four hundred pounds so i appreciate that he's trying to be more diverse and attract different customers so i really give him credit for that in that aspect oh, it's a bit of, and it's a cologne so i don't know what the percent the concentration would be i don't really know so maybe i judge it on his work being quite long lasting and the cologne being less money and um so you sort of get to get more of a pop and less of a um less of longevity but for a hundred pounds it really should even still it should last so i'm going to give it a one out of two because i would love the projection a little bit more and that can be done the next two marks of the price well you're buying 100 million you're getting all the pretty packaging and you are um it's a cheaper sort of range all the rest of it so i think for him being diverse i think yeah i'm gonna sort of give it to that so I'll give it a two out of two but for a cologne you kind of know what you're going to get you kind of know that you're getting a fragrance that isn't going to be a monster so i kind of think it's all in the words there which is a five do i like it i like this actually i think it's very nice i think it's youthful but it's not the vertiver is putting me off and this is so personal and this is because i create fragrance i can sort of pick out these raw materials and i just don't particularly like vertiver that's so so personal but i kind of think it's really fantastic for a bit more youthful demographic i kind of think this is for sort of 30 plus and if you love his work it'd be something that you would apply daily i must is a seven out of ten I kind of would like the projection a little bit more. If the projection was a little bit more for a little bit longer, it would get an eight out of 10. And the other two marks are simply because I really dislike vertiver and this is a vertiver heavy fragrance. And that is really personal. That's the nice thing about perfumery. We're all very different and we all like different things, but I can really appreciate this. And I do think it's fantastic. So love that review, thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance reviews. I hope you're staying safe and well, and I'll see you soon.